Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Ellie. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel. And it's really dark in here. I just wanted to do like a little mini haul because I went to Kmart. And I picked up a few things that I feel would make my life a little bit easier. And also, like... I realized the other day, the things that I own, I've like accumulated throughout the years when I've needed them and something that I, I guess I've never bought myself. If you don't know this and you're just a new person watching my thing, know that I grew up in foster care and in homeless shelters and I'm kind of, you know, telling my story bit by bit. But if you want to learn a little bit about me before you want to get into this video, here's my life story, basically. So this is my towel rack. You guys, this is my towel rack. These are the towels that I have. And they're like gross. Well, no, they're not gross. They're just like sun stained, different colors. They're not like the same, which I mean is the same way as saying they're different colors. But anyway, these are towels that I have accumulated throughout my adulthood. I've never bought a set of towels. Like, I don't even know where half of these towels came from. I know that I bought this one. And the only reason that I bought this one is for the beach. So this is a beach towel. It shouldn't be on this rack. Like I've just accumulated these things throughout the years. I don't have like a proper set. And I was like, like it just, it, this looks gross and everything else in my house matches. So why does this not match? And why does this look gross? And I was like, you know what? As a treat to myself and kind of just to applaud myself on how far I've come because, you know, um, I don't know, just cause I'm just proud of myself. Why don't I go to Kmart and just buy all matching towels? It's not gonna be super expensive and it will make me feel better. And it's kind of like a ceremonial kind of thing. Everything in my house is either black or white. So, I chose to get just all black towels and this is what they look like. They're just your regular everyday bath towels. Um, oh, that's not what I was trying to show. And this is what they'll look like. Actually, that's so silly to throw these towels away. I'm gonna use those random ass towels as like things to clean with. I might like rip them up and make rags um, and like, you know, to wash the dogs with because I don't want to use my bath towels to wash the dogs. So I'm going to start using those old towels to do like household things. I don't know if it makes sense for me to say it's ceremonial. It, that's, that's the word that comes up in my mind, but it's just kind of like a little nod to myself being like, you go girl. So... I will put this back. Um, the next thing that I got for the same reason is a thing from, uh, this is Coles, but Coles and Kmart are the same thing. I got matching tea towels because all of the tea towels that I have are literally just tea towels that I've accumulated while I was working at a bar. They're literally just the bar tea towels that you stick in here when you want to wipe your hands because you've, you know, poured stuff and spilt stuff. I'm excited about these. All the old tea towels, again, will be used as cleaning things. I bought this blanket. It's a storm blanket, and I'm gonna pop this on my couch just because it's getting so cold, and I'm sitting on my couch in like 10,000 layers of clothes, and I just feel like it's nice, and I'm just gonna pop it on my couch. Or maybe I'll pop the blankets that are on my bed on my couch and have this on my bed. I don't know, but this is a storm blanket, and I'm happy with this purchase. So I guess we'll go into clothes next and then we'll get into the other item. So let me just, Kmart, while it is a cheaper place to buy from, it's also like I could buy these same things from Pretty Little Thing for cheaper. And I know that's crazy because it's Kmart compared to Pretty Little Thing, but Pretty Little Thing always has like 50% off and you always end up getting things for like $12. Whereas one item at Kmart for these clothes is like $25 to $30. The only reason I bought from Kmart instead of Pretty Little Thing this time, this winter, is because it's freezing right now and everything is taking like a month and a half to arrive because of coronavirus. So let me just show you some of the things that I got. So I bought this fleece style and it's kind of like cropped and you can make it tighter at the bottom type thing it's got a little zipper it's kind of the same as the boohoo and pretty little thing ones that i have except um it doesn't have yeah I, and it's kind of a different material this is going to be warmer i like the color and it's just simple and i know that this is going to keep me warm and the things that i bought from kmart are more so for practicality rather than fashion because i feel like i i just don't have enough track suits I've got a collab coming up with Femlux, which is for TikTok. It's not for Insta. I've got two collabs with Femlux. 
One is for Instagram, one is for TikTok, and the TikTok one is supposed to be all tracksuits and stuff, but I don't know if the items that I picked are gonna be thick or if they're gonna, you know, I, I just don't know. And also, even my collab from like last month from Femlux hasn't arrived yet because of coronavirus. So I have no idea when I'm gonna be like receiving the track side of the TikTok collab. So that's why I'm buying things right now. The next thing I bought was actually a men's item because apparently Kmart doesn't think that women wanna wear track pants. The only thing that they had for women were these like flimsy, like drawstring type material. Like the material for their track pants were literally like this loose, stupid fabric whereas i wanted actual track pants so i bought men track pants and i'm pretty sure they're going to be too big for me but this was the smallest size and i need track pants like it's so cold and it's not even winter yet i got them in a size small and i really just am looking for comfort here this is just practicality the next thing that i got was just like a standard hoodie this one was 12 dollars, probably the cheapest thing out of the entire clothing part of the Kmart haul. It's just got the, uh, like this is just your basic hoodie. Again, practicality. The next thing that I bought was this $4 car thing. And I didn't buy it for my phone. It's, it's, the, it's a phone holder. I bought it for my camera to see, and this will be the deciding moment, to see if it will, oh, it's, I don't think it's gonna fit. Wait, is it? It might fit. I didn't buy this for my phone. I actually bought it for my camera that I'm filming on right now in case I wanted to do vlogs. I did buy a car mount, except the car mount needs suction to like the dashboard, but it can't suck. It can't suck <laughs> onto my dash because it's a textured dash. It's not like a. Yeah, and also the sun. Like, it, listen, the camera just falls off. If you watch any of my vlogs where I'm vlogging in the car, it doesn't work. So I thought I'd buy one of these things. It was only $4, and it just sticks into the vent. For my phone, I've got a similar thing, except it's a magnet one, um, and I just wanted to see if this would fit my camera. I'm pretty sure it will. If it doesn't, it's no big deal because it was only $4, so. The next thing I bought was kind of just a spur-of-the-moment thing because my beauty section over there is looking so gross. I'll show you in the B-roll over here, but it's just everywhere. I've been doing lives every morning on TikTok showing people how I do my makeup and it's just making things so messy and I just, yeah. So I, I needed to get something practical and I hope that this is the answer to it. I do have a couple of these just in different shapes, but yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that this is the last one I'll need to buy. This is what it looks like. It just has like a, a thing in here. I don't know, I think this is for a straightener. I'm not gonna use it for a straightener because my straightener, everything, it, like that's in the bathroom. Um, But I'm thinking that I can put all of my brushes in this big thing and then like all of the lip glosses, all of the like um lash stuff in here and just have things a little bit more organized. Now the next thing I bought, isn't as pretty as what I would have hoped for it to be. I did a PR haul a couple of days ago where I showed you an unboxing of this like package that I got from Baby Got Wax and they sent me like a whole bunch of wax melts, but they did send me a thing to like to melt them in. However, you need tea light candles. And I was actually going to Kmart for tea light candles, but I saw this bad boy and I was like, I mean, why don't I just use an electric one and then I'll never have to buy fire or like buy candles, you know what I'm saying? And it's like less risk of creating a fire. It's an electric wet, like wax melty thing. It's got a little plate where you put the wax and then it's this thing. So I'm assuming that this thing heats up and the heat from that will melt the wax. It's not the sexiest thing. If you watch the PR haul, that like where I got the other wax melty thing, it's so much prettier, but I mean, this is more sustainable, so. The next thing that I got was literally just this raggedy ass, a broken $7.50 vase. Because I have like these ivy plants in water, I'll show you in the B-roll over here. But currently it's just sitting in like a fruit bowl and it's kind of ugly. So I thought that I'd, I'd give it some life and put it in this. Now, the last thing I bought was the thing that I 
that I feel that will help me. It's just, you know, helpful. And it's a C-shaped side table. And I wanted this because I bought a treadmill online. Now, I'm not going to show you the treadmill because I decided that I wanted to do a video on it um, on the reasons why you shouldn't buy this treadmill. So, obviously, I'm still using the treadmill. I'm going to make a video on why you shouldn't buy it. Um, I'm, I'm not going to return it because I just don't know how to do that kind of stuff. So, I decided to buy a C-shaped table so that I can have it right next to the treadmill so I can have something to, like, somewhere to put my water, somewhere to put my phone, somewhere to put my lap pop. Lap laptop and hopefully it's the right height because if it's not then i don't know what i'm gonna do with this table anyways you guys i hope you enjoyed this little mini haul let me know what you think in the comments down below give the video a thumbs up if you want me to do more of these because it really does help and if you want to join my team you want to be part of my little family click subscribe and um i will see you guys in the next one bye